that. Glass is on. Okay, it says we are live. Velocichunga says, hey, friends. Hey, good morning. And has joined the chat. We're doing a light wash of Payne's Gray for the stone. So Jason says, hi. Hello. And Steph Nerd says morning, and Claire hey, says Nerd. hi there, and Carolyn Dalton says good morning, and Bethany is here, Vanessa says hi, Samir says hello, first time live. Welcome. Suleiman says good afternoon. Good afternoon. Um, we have a good morning from Wada from Italy. <coughs> hello. Selma says hey, and Spark Art's here, and Emu's here. How is everybody doing today? Frankie Roth says good morning. I'm so excited to finally get to painting. Um, Flight Arrow Bear, I'm just popping in to say hi guys. Well, hello. Um, let's see. Just everybody's just saying hi. Oh, that's great. Yeah. Hello, everybody. Why don't you tell everybody what you're doing today? I am uh, going to do work on the background today. I'd love to get the whole thing done, but we'll see. I'm keeping it very light. Um, the first thing I'm doing is I just did a, a, a just a wash of, oops. I just did a wash of uh, Windsor Orange just to get everything kind of a little bit of a warmth uh, to it because I, I want it to feel warm. And, um, and then I am going to add all of the base colors. So the wood will be brown, the rocks are going to be Payne's Gray, etc, etc, etc. And then I will come in with the um, lighting. And that'll be with the purples, the Windsor Violet. Oh my God, he's starting to paint. Mm, let's see, Gail's here. Can't wait to see the first washes of watercolor go down on the background. Hey, Gail. Did Scott thicken up the outlines? I did, I did. You can see it, it makes a difference. Lisa Brown says, good morning from good morning. in the car on a trip to New York. Very excited to see you paint the oh, guild. Oh, fun. Darn it, I did it again. I, I hit. You're using an wood. awfully large brush. Yeah. It's a, it's a large area, so I thought I'll use a large brush, but mm -hmm. I should probably switch to a smaller one. I'm not telling you what to do, but. Don't want to play creative, but. No, I don't want to, but, you know. Yeah, you know, it might work better. Um, but hey, who am I? It's all good. The same way I watched a movie with Scott the other night, and I was like, the editing on this is really bad. <laughs> I could do better than this. Donna's getting a little cocky in her old age. Sally would like to know how the day is going, and how are you today? Uh, day is going good so far. Um, and uh, I think we're doing okay. I'm going to switch over to a smaller brush. Let's try this okay, brand you were all, new. You were all here for the day that he actually did something I suggested, like trying a smaller brush. You guys were all here for that. 155 of you, I have proof. Spark Art is on spring break and it's snowing where they live. Oh, wow. Simon's wife has been waiting impatiently for your live today. Oh. Hello, Simon's wife. Hello. From Scott's wife. Um, let's see. 
<laughs> you guys. I love it when you start something and everybody's like, how long is this going to take? <laughs> um, well, the live will take 90 minutes. Uh, and then um, I think painting the background or painting the entire piece will probably take me seven to 10 days. Um, Cause I'm only putting in an hour at a time. So um, I, I, I think it'll be about a seven to 10 hour endeavor. There we go. Um, let's see your favorite Swifty. Hello. I have a question for Donna. I was the one who did the quote a few days back where you asked if you could use it. Oh, good. I can use it. Thank you. Will I ever do lives? Um, we've talked about it and I've done a couple, but, um, never say never. Um, we've done them before, but they're not on the horizon right now. And I think we're going to use live time for Scott to finish his painting and it's journaling stuff live is just different. So that requires a little bit of planning there. Zoya says, how are you doing? I'm doing good. Thank you. Um, they love your videos and your personality and you overall. Oh, thank you very much. The tea of the day is the Herod's breakfast blend. How have you all been enjoying the, the longer form videos? Um, what's the paper that you put under your hand? Uh, that's just uh, tracing paper. Uh, just uh, to keep me from uh, getting the oils from my hand onto the paper because those oils will affect the watercolor and I don't want anything to block the paint from touching the or from soaking into the, um, the paper. So it's just a um, if I was doing a smaller piece you, you usually don't see me doing it but because the longer piece um, I'm spending so much time with my hand rested on the art it's just probably smarter. Uh, why is this day 10 when your videos are at day 12? Um, because there were uh, uh, two videos, one where I tested paper and one where I did all of the layouts and selected the characters and moved them around. So there were two extra videos that um, weren't live or anything. Um, has the coloring page been uploaded? No, not yet. Not yet. I, I need to send that over to Bethany and, and do that. What brushes does Scott use? Uh, anything that I can get my hands on normally. I like something that has a nice point to it. So, uh, newer paint brushes always seem to work best because, um, they have a point to them. And, um, but I, uh, these are currently Winsor Newton Cotman series. So there, it was about $20 for a set of, maybe not even, I think it was like maybe $15 for a set of four. Um, <laughs> uh, when are you gonna upload the coloring page to the website? Uh, probably today. How much difference does it actually make if your hand touches the paper versus using the protective layer? Well, again, you don't see me putting a protective layer on any of my other paintings. Mm -hmm. uh, it's just, I've been working on this piece for literally weeks, which means my hand would have spent a lot of time all over the piece. If I'm doing something that's only gonna take an hour, I'm not really worried about it. I mean, mm -hmm. my hands aren't generally oily. Um, I, I, I don't have oily hands, but it's just, you know, being a human, there is some oil to your hands. And so this was more just, it was a piece that I was going to be spending a lot of time with my hand on it. That's all. So if you're going to do it like a, something that's going to take several, several hours, <coughs> then yeah, it probably couldn't hurt to, to do that. Um, Anne-Marie is here. Hey, Anne-Marie. Ellen is here. Ellen. Um, how are you going to paint over the acrylics? I'm assuming they mean the gouache that you put down. The acrylic gouache? I, mm. I'm going to just put the paint over as, as normal. And, and you can kind of see... <clears throat> can you see down here? Where I'm yes. Pointing? 
Yes. You can kind of see a little bit, see how the, it just kind of just is still white because there's acrylic gouache there. Mm -hmm. it, it's going to happen. And then what I'll do is I'll just come over it with gouache, which is uh, opaque. And I'll just paint over that area. But I ha I'll have to match the surrounding area so that way it, it lines up correctly. Let's see. I, I'm going to um, really quickly just move. Yeah, I, I haven't had a lot there. of luck. The ASMR videos, nobody seems to see those because they just don't seem to go very well. So the videos that I've been doing, um, I have to do the editing and the voiceover and all of that kind of stuff because the ASMR stuff just doesn't get pushed out. I did a few of those and they were not very popular. You okay? Yeah, I was just moving this so I could slide this over a little bit. Okay. Good. Yeah, you're fine. You're still in the middle of the, still in the middle of the uh, video. Good area. Okay. So this is wood, so I don't want that. Mm -mm. This is going to be kind of like a concrete, and I don't know if I should do that as a separate color, but I will do this part now. Um, I don't paint, so us painting together, not really a thing. Um. She did get us some uh, ink pens or, or whatever they are, mm -hmm. and we need yeah. to try those. Tom Studio pens, yeah. They it has the um, all the different nibs, and so they have very very fine point, and then they have very very uh, like a brush tip. So um, they want to know what brushes you're using right now. Like, what's the brush you're using right now? This is the uh, the Winsor and Newton Cotman series, which is their student series. Okay. Set, and this is a number. Six? Yeah, number six. Selma says, I really like the longer videos. They feel so much less rushed than the shorts. Yeah, the, the, the shorts were very rushed. They were easier to do in the fact that, you know, I could I could get them done very quickly. Mm -hmm. um, I feel bad that the, um, the longer videos, I'm just kind of just using basically time lapse. But... Uh, there's no way for me to just edit all of that. Yeah. Hours and hours of video. Yeah. Um, Kia really likes your longer videos. Oh, good. Thank Excuse you. Excuse me. I think they're the perfect length. Atticus, is Hobby Lobby a good place to get stuff? I don't think so, no. Um, I don't think they have good business practices. Um, they are, uh, the company themselves are not good people. And so I... I I wouldn't do that. That said, they have good good prices, especially on framing. Um, my mom likes to shop there, uh, but me personally, I, I don't I don't like them for what they do um, to harm people in the world. You've also never bought art supplies there. So. I, I don't think so. No. Yeah. So we can't really speak to that. Um, what inspired you drawing this artwork? Um. You know, I had, uh, when I was coming up with the idea for the dragon and centaur, um, I had all of this wonderful photo reference. And so one of the thumbnails that I did was called the guild. And it was just like, oh, I've got all these really cool characters. What if I had a whole bunch of characters and, a, and the dragon? And I wound up not doing it, but I liked the idea of the different characters. I had like an enchantress. I mean, a lot of these were already in the... I had this photo reference. I had um, the fawn. Uh, I had, so I had a, a couple of these different photo references. I was like, God, I, I really like these photos. I'd like to draw these characters at some point. And so that's really all it was. And then it was just like, well, if I'm going to do five characters, why don't I do ten characters? And if I'm going to do ten, why don't I do... And so I just... Mm. It was really just, well, let me go and see how many good photo references I could find or and buy. And um, and I spent maybe a hundred dollars on photo reference mm -hmm. and um, picked the ones that I liked and then I just brought them all into Photoshop and said, well let's see how it, how they all look together. So it was just kind of more an exploratory mm -hmm. I've got photo reference I like. Let me see what happens if I put it all together. Um, Talisha has a band concert tomorrow and at the rehearsal it was really loud. Is there any way I could make the sound a little bit more quiet that's noticeable? Uh, headphones. 
Mm. Uh, I have over the ear headphones. I like them better than in the ear, but you can get, um, you can just go to the grocery store, mm -hmm. uh, the drugstore, and get ear plugs. Yeah. They're, you know, three, four dollars. Mm -hmm. The little if squishy you can't, ones. Yeah, the little squishy ones. And try mm -hmm. that. But headphones are the best thing. Mm -hmm. Dana Mercury says, Good morning, my friends. How Hello, are you? Dana Mercury. How's your weather up there? Um, okay. I need Suleiman says, guys. The mice are so cute. Thank you. Can you get, is this okay? Yeah, we can, can you guys still see, see it. the, the other, uh -huh. this end? Yep, we okay, can. Okay, good. And I just need to move this over to here. I'm recording as well. Um, oh, I read all the comments. So I, and I loved it that you guys are sharing um, quotes with me. I love that. Um, Colleen loves the long forms. Violet Sky says, I really like the long forms, which honestly really says something because my attention span is horrendous. <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, Colleen. And thank you, Violet Skies. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Letter Lady Z says, I did a watercolor yesterday of a blue ringed octopus as a gift for a friend's birthday. Thank you for helping me get back into watercolor. Oh, that's fantastic. I bet they loved it. What animal skull is that on the tavern wall? Um, it, it was, uh, the reference I had looked like it was like a, uh, an elephant, but I just kind of made it into my own magical, you know, fictional kind of, uh, thing. How do you buy tracing paper on rolls or by sheets? By sheets. It comes in a pad, like a pad of paper yeah. that you tear them off. Beth and he's like, I promise as soon as God sends me the coloring page, I will have it loaded ASAP. <laughs> They're giving her a hard time, so you need to send it today. How would you recommend starting a sketchbook? Oh, um, it depends on the type of sketchbook that you want it to be. Do you want it to be a nice looking sketchbook that has really nice pictures in it? Or do you want to just have it be a sketchbook where you doodle? Mm -hmm. Do you want to have it be like a travel sketchbook where you just kind of draw stuff? Do you want to have it be... Um, uh, like a, a, an artist block sketchbook where you just draw things just to, to like like a Harry Potter or Lord of the Rings kind of thing. Mm -hmm. So once you've decided, then really it's just a matter of just uh, following through with that. Mm -hmm. I mean, I've got different sketchbooks for different moods. Caroline Dalton says, my four-year-old wanted you to know that the painting is so beautiful. Oh, thank you. <laughs> That's very cute. Um, let's see. Okay. Yes, Scott has drawn a frog before. No, we don't have anything on deck after this right now. There's a 70s. few things he's... Well, you're kicking it around, but you've yeah. kicked around a couple other things too. Yeah. Um, does watercolor ruin if you just put water on the paint and keep dipping it, or should I put it in little sections? Um, well, can you guys see the, the watercolor palette I'm using? No. Uh-uh. So this is, this is it, and I'm adding water to it, and, I mean, that's how watercolor paint works. You, mm -hmm. you put it on your palette, and then you add water to it, because it's going to dry out, and, um, and that reactivates it. Okay. So, yeah, I, I don't think you're going to do any harm. It's, that's how it's supposed to work. It needs water. Um, our favorite animation studio would be our studio in Spain that we're friends with. Um, we cannot tell you, there's a, let's do this. There's a list on the resources page of our website of all of the art supplies that Scott uses. If you only have a Hobby Lobby in your area and that's where you can buy art supplies and you want to try something, look at Scott's resources page and buy what you have that's yeah. close by you. There's also places online like Blick. Ex um, exactly. <laughs> but maybe, you know, some of our friends don't have access to be able to yeah. purchase online. All right. I'm so, going to blow dry. You may blow dry now. So try that. See what's around you. See if you can buy something online. But if you're very limited, then, then you're very limited to what you have. But we don't know what's in every single store wherever you guys are that's that's just the problem that we that we have we just don't know we can't know what's in every single store in every single country so um
Yeah. He doesn't put anything on his hands before he starts painting. He's not adding any more people to the background. Hitomi, thank you, and thank you for all of your nice, sweet comments. Those are much appreciated. Um, all right, let's see. Um, a lot of people are saying, commenting, that they really like the longer form uh, videos. Oh, and good. And they put them on, and, um, and they it, it gives them a little bit more to, to learn from. Um, Shelby asks, how do you get a consistent layer of paint without having darker areas? I don't. Um, you can see this area is darker than this area. Um, can you guys see this part right here where I'm pointing? Yes. You see this? See this like little squiggles that came from it? Mm -hmm. That's watercolor. It's inconsistent. It, 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 it's darker some places and lighter other places. Once you embrace that, um, it kind of lets you be okay with the... Um, it feels more artsy mm -hmm. it's it's not perfect and and that's what i like about it now you could sit and keep working on getting the perfect blend the perfect this but i i try not to i i don't do that with the faces i don't do that with my uh places and and i and i, I just think that it it makes for better art um Okay. Can you so can you see the left side? Yes. Okay, good. But not the not below the lowest I can see is the wheel of the wheelchair. Okay. So okay. you can't see the floor of that. That's fine. I'm going to start with the wood now. Okay. Well, just know we won't be able to see the wood floor unless you move it oh, up. Oh, you know what? What? I only have a little bit of burnt sienna left. I don't know. <laughs> we may be driving to the art store today. Yeah. Yeah, that's we looked at the paints the other day and Scott was like, wait, I don't have burnt sienna. And we went, uh, okay. Where was that list? Oh, here it is. Watercolor. Yes. Yeah. There's like five or six different colors that we need to go look for. And some of the watercolors were semi-transparent and some yeah. of them were transparent, which and was opaque. interesting. Yeah. yeah. And there's opaque watercolor too, that was in his drawer. And he was like, huh, I didn't know this I was opaque. I want opaque watercolor. Exactly. So, uh, so there you go. Um, I'd love to color this in gouache and watercolor, but I don't have such a large sheet available. Is there a way to scale it down? I usually prefer small drawings to bigger compositions. When we post it on the website, you'll be able to just print it on a piece of whatever paper you have. Yeah. So you can print it, just do fit to size on your, your, um, paper. Um, Scott has not done Indian gods. He did, uh, Ravi Vash. Yeah, yeah Ra Ra Ravi Varma. Yeah, anyways, um, an Indian painter in 60 Days of Studying the Masters. Um, let's see. Um, I We've never heard of those. Have you ever heard of Reeves sketchbooks? This person's in Australia. No. The problem when with you asking is we just don't know everything in every country. If look we for, can do a look tour. Look for Etcher Labs is from Australia. Are they really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. Okay, Etcher Labs. E T C H R. Etcher Labs. Um. That's where I did. I did the um. The hair journal. Mm -hmm. None of the characters have names yet. Except for Kiwi. Well, you Kiwis, yeah. Um, let's see. They, mods are doing a fantastic job. Um, this paper came in a sheet, not in a roll. Um, and a lot of times Scott will use paper that is, um, on a block. He likes the smaller sizes, sizes that he, you know, is most comfortable with. Um, we do like Michael's, but Scott does not buy the majority of his art supplies there. He buys the majority of his art supplies at the art store or at Blick. And yes, those letter ladies, those loop earplugs are amazing. Amazing. And I am not personally fond of them, but I don't like in-ear stuff. Not for the sensory stuff, but mostly because I 
Uh, when I have something in my ear, then I just hear my heartbeat and my breathing and my footsteps and everything. And so I don't like that. That being said, a lot of other people, a lot of our SBC friends love them. Yeah. Um, and have worn them and used them for, they've gone to weddings, they've gone to parties, they've gone to, they wear them at work. Um, and they're very helpful. I like them. I've worn them certain places. They make life a little bit easier when things get really loud. Highly recommend. And they're not expensive, but I, I like them. Um, let's see. How do you spend $100 for a photo reference? Don't you just copy and paste photos from the web? <laughs> so um, here's the thing. If you're just drawing for yourself, 100% you, could, you can copy anything. If you're going to be selling your artwork and selling prints of your artwork, you should have the rights to mm -hmm. your photo reference. Um, you don't want to be copying a photo of somebody and making posters of it um, without that person's permission. Uh, and so that's why um, for this, I used, I, I, I paid for photo reference, which was only, they're only anywhere from five to $12 per character. Um, mm -hmm. And a lot of these were the same character uh, or, you know, from the same set. Um, in other words, I just took different poses. Um, so I, I, I bought maybe about 10 different sets yeah you bought a lot isn't it like 300 photo oh sometimes there's 700 photos I mean, in, a, in a in a set yeah. it's just but you know it's the same costume sometimes they'll do mm -hmm. different costumes mm -hmm. um, yeah um let's see yeah he's not adding anything else to the drawing the drawing is done the drawing there's done, no yeah. more people added there's no more you know accessories or anything else added he's already painting so he's done with the drawing portion of it um yeah earplugs you can get the little packs of 10 but a lot of people don't like those the squishy earplugs in their ears and it bothers them so they've come up with with yeah. other kinds of earplugs that contour to your ear and do different things and so it's it's just a personal preference it's thing. personal preference and budget so yep. just just so yep. for for a budget if you're working on a budget Mm -hmm. then those things work just yeah. fine. You know, the ones from the drugstore. Yep. Um, yeah, thank you for that. I appreciate that. I'm glad you're enjoying the quotes. Um, you get to watch him color the fairy. And Probably will, not today. <laughs> you will see yeah. how he does that. Scott, when you are not recording content, do you find yourself talking to yourself and forgetting that Donna is not around? Or are you aware of your surroundings and just focusing on your work? Oh, yeah. I, I don't talk to myself. I do. Donna all the time. does, yeah. I walk around the house talking to myself. I used to talk to my dog because she would follow me everywhere. I blame it on her. But from what I've... I'm told I always walked around talking to myself. Yeah. So. I, I uh, listen to music... Let's see. <clears throat> yeah, we can't get Indian art supplies in um, in the States. We don't even know what's available to you guys over there. Um, I think it's just a distribution type of thing. Uh, that is also true. Trips to the art store may be the biggest test of self-control. That is correct. The art store and the bookstore, neither of which are... are uh, self-control things for me it's like oh let's just buy another pen okay um let's see uh, this is not acrylic or gouache this is watercolor this is watercolors so watercolors are transparent which mm -hmm. is why i can do my inking first mm -hmm. and then go over it with the watercolors mm -hmm. okay guys the piece of paper under Scott's hand is tracing paper. It's tracing paper, that's all. It's tracing paper. He is using it so that he doesn't transfer the ink or the, the oils from his hands onto the painting because if he does, then the watercolor won't stick as well. Um, let's see. 
Eternal Art says, hey, Scott, never joined this before, but I couldn't wait. I wanted to see you paint. Um, and um, you and your wife, I presume, are lovely. Thank you for the content. Thank you that very much. very kind of you. Um, um, Anna is working on their newest painting while listening to the live stream. It's the biggest canvas size I'm, I've ever done, so I'm quite nervous about screwing up. Wow. Just know you will screw up, and it'll be okay. Just embrace it. It's all yeah, good. Yeah, I screw it's up all, all the time. Oh, every I, day I, of his life. There's so much. Yep. So you just, mm -hmm. you'll deal with it. Just enjoy the process. Gerald says, morning. So we have color today. Great. Wait, wait. I need my coffee. <laughs> I feel you, Gerald. I have a cup of tea and a, a third cup of tea here sitting next to me. Um, let's see. Violet Sky. Ha. I'm listening to this with in-ear headphones and not my mind is fixated on my breathing and heartbeat. <laughs> oh. Let's see. Mm. Yeah, I, I, I used to take those loops with me. Mm -hmm. um, to, oh, before that was the uh, those uh, Apple AirPods Pros one. Mm -hmm, with and, the noise and, canceling. Yeah, and we would go on a walk, and now all you hear is, <gasps> and then boom, 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 with every footstep and you know, in my heartbeat. And I was like, this is more noise than not. <laughs> For you, yeah. For just, you, it's more noise than it, not. It wasn't it's, helping me. It's a process of figuring out what you need as a person. So, yeah. if a, a simple pair of foam earplugs works for you, great. It it doesn't work for everybody, and you know you need the over the ear ones, whereas the other ones might work for other people. So, yeah. um, let's see. Um, do you find that your ink lines look chalky when you paint over it with watercolors? I find even with good watercolors, it makes my ink lines look chalky. I haven't had that problem. No. Um, some look at, um, this is what Donna and I were looking at the other day. <coughs> Hitomi says I fail in the bookstore and the chocolate store. I get that. 100%. So, can you guys see this? Um, yeah, they can, but you're going to have to hold it up a little closer to All right. The... So, yeah, let's see if that helps. Can you guys see that? No. No. Put your finger... Yeah, now we can see it. All Put right. your finger... Show them the little box. So, see that little box, how it's, yeah. how it's empty? Mm -hmm. This means that it's transparent. Mm -hmm. This one means it is semi-transparent. See with the half black? Mm -hmm. And this one means it is opaque. So if you put an opaque watercolor on top of your mm -hmm. inks, it's going to look chalky. If you use more of a, of a transparent one, it will be less likely to be chalky. Mm -hmm. So that's what we're finding out. Yeah, see, Stefner says um, because of her glasses, that plus the over ears for a long period of time equals my ears and head hurt. Yeah. Yeah, everybody's got a different situation. Well, that's the other thing with the glasses. Mm -hmm. um, if I wear glasses with the over the ear, you know, with my headphones, mm -hmm. um, it creates a gap that lets uh, sound in. Mm -hmm. and, uh, and I don't like that. So lots of times I won't wear my glasses when I'm wearing my headphones. Yeah. Because you would rather have the complete yeah. silencing of the of the noises. You gotta just it's it's trial and error, you guys. You know, honestly. Um, can you live out of YouTube or social media in general? Um, you can. Uh, um, YouTube especially uh, pays the best. You just have to be able to um, be consistent with your uploads and with your views and to do that you know i mean I, it's not easy with our two million followers it definitely wasn't easy doing shorts but uh there are people who are making a lot of money just not us mm -hmm. yeah there's a lot that goes into it a yeah. lot that goes into it and the algorithms are not uh 
They're not consistent. They're not. There's no consistency. So in, you could be that. doing good one month yeah. and be making the same content uh -huh. and even better content yep. the next month and you know nothing. Yeah. Uh, like I made more money my first year mm -hmm. with YouTube uh, than I did the next two years, and um, I have more followers. I think my content is better, but I'm making a tenth of what I made. Mm -hmm the yeah the first year yeah um goose moo uh, bethany is correct you do not need expensive art supplies to start out but their second question is what's the best way to do art while having a busy schedule oh um try journaling mm -hmm. try making art uh you know like on the go where you are what you're doing that kind of stuff that i i find really is helpful mm -hmm. just take a pen and a notebook and bring it with you if you're busy or you're a student or you're in school, sketch in between classes. Sketch on your lunch break. You know, give some time to yourself. You know, take five minutes here and there, you know. Um, the pen that Scott uses is a zebra brush pen and a micron pen, and they are both waterproof. Yeah, and you can, you can find links to mm -hmm. both of those in our art supplies list. Um, Scott blends his watercolors on the page. Yeah, I don't blend my colors mm -mm. on the palette. Mm -hmm. Can you create a short of this painting? I would love to see it. A short? That's what they asked. Um, <clears throat> I, I've, I've got literally 10, 11 videos, full videos of it that you can see the process of it. Um, if I was to make a short of it... It would be a one minute. Um, you wouldn't get crops. everything in it. Yeah, you bit, wouldn't get I mean, everything in. It, 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 I, I will probably do a short to you know that will say, <clears throat> "Hey, I am making." There are a whole bunch of videos on this. Go watch that. But mm -hmm. I, I promise you, it's not going to be that interesting. Okay, so I find this comical. This question comical for another reason because for. Three years, you guys have been asking Scott for to do longer form content so you can see the details of how he's painting and all the things. And now you're asking for shorts again. Yeah, it's just, it's I'm funny. sure this person wasn't one of those people asking. Yeah, you know, but they're, they're... another reason why he started moving over to the long form is because so many people for so long asked him to do longer form content so they could see. I want to see how you're how you've painted everything. I want to see all the details that go into it, and so that lends itself more towards the longer form content. Yeah. Some things don't, but this does. Um, yes, Scott is right-handed. Um, they want to know, what is the skull on the wall? Oh, it, it, it was a, an elephant skull from the reference that I had, and I just turned it into something that was, you know, something fantasy. Um, we've got a friend who asks what to do if you're being bullied in a verbal way. And what do you do when you can't talk to anyone about it? Um, if the person uh, uh, bullying you verbally is an adult and it, it's your parents, I would find <clears throat> someone, maybe a counselor at school, uh, you know, a teacher or somebody who might listen. Um, if it is not an adult or parent, then I would talk to your, your parents mm -hmm. about it. Uh, but you do need to talk to someone and you don't need to be put in a situation where you were bullied. Mm -hmm. Um, that's just not acceptable. And you have the right to be safe. You have the mm -hmm. right to be happy. Um, no one has the right to make you feel uncomfortable, uh, or threatened. So you yeah. have to stand up for yourself and your rights. Mm -hmm. You don't need to worry about how telling on somebody is going to affect their life. That's mm -hmm. their decision. They chose to bully you. So you need to protect yourself. You have to be a little bit selfish in this. Mm -hmm. um, let's see. Frankie Ross says, my being able to hear electricity inside is a recent development. It is driving me completely nuts. My new medication seems to block it out, but when it wears off, oh boy. Oh, yeah. I've heard that that's a thing, that there's people who can hear that. Yeah. Um, 
Yeah, I, I, I don't, but I've heard that and I can understand that that would be difficult. Let's see. Um, okay. How do you not just throw paint all over this after so many days? <laughs> Cause he wants it to look nice. I mean, come on. You guys can see the bottom. Okay. Yes. Okay. Um, let's see. So I have a list of quotes that I have kept for the last, I don't know, however many years. And, um, I look at that. I reference quotes online. I pick one every day. I don't have them all planned out in advance. I have a theme for the month planned out in advance. Um, like March is women's history month. So the quotes in March are about women and February's quotes were about love and, January's quotes were about inspiration. Um, so I do have a theme that I came up with for April because April is Earth Month. So we're going to do Earth Month and climate quotes. That is what we're going to do for April. So I'm kind of excited about that one. Um, it's actually pretty cool because um, I'm, I'm moving over to the earplug thing again. Um, that there are so many different kinds. It's like art supplies. There are so many different kinds that if, one kind is not for you, then I'm sure you'll find something out there that is perfect for you. Um, all right, let's go. Can you share what has been the biggest oh crap moment of your art career or journey, or maybe a big hiccup you think aspiring artists should be aware of? Um, well, I mean, I, Colored pencils. I was, I, I, I would say with, in, in all humility, I was a master at colored pencils. I was at the top of the gang game. I was in the New York Society of Illustrators. I was doing covers. I was probably one of the best colored pencil artists, <clears throat> you know, around in the 90s. And I just, there's only so much you could do with colored pencils. There's, they're so rigid. They're so, um, unforgiving. You, you, you know, like watercolors, you never know what you're going to get. You know exactly what you're going to get every time with colored pencils. And it became quite boring. So after two decades of working with colored pencils, I, just got burnt out. I just wasn't happy with my art. Mm -hmm. So I guess that aha moment was just saying that um, don't be afraid to try a new medium. Don't be afraid mm -hmm. of a paintbrush. Don't be afraid of, you know, because we start off with pencils and then colored pencils and markers and we Pans. go, oh, this is, yeah, this is really, you know, mm -hmm. I, I'm getting really good at this. And, and, but it, it's, it's really, there's a reason why there are so many different mediums to, to work with. And there's just something magical about um, not copying something exactly like you see and having paint strokes be visible and having sp splotches of color and just rather than being a photorealistic colored pencil thing. So that, that's the best I could come up with. Um, yeah, Ellen had a rough trip on the plane the other day and uh, wished that she'd had AirPod Pros on the plane. Um, planes are not fun places anymore. They're just not fun. They've um, made the seat smaller and it's just... There's yeah. a friend of mine on... Um, TikTok, who's deaf, and um, she has the cochlear implant, mm -hmm. and um, she, she was on a plane, and the baby was crying and everything, and she video recorded just like, she just took her cochlear implant off, and then just everything went silent, and she was just smiling, and I was like, darn it, <laughs> you know, yeah. I wish I could do that. Yeah. Sometimes it's... Um... It, the world is a, a very loud, overwhelming place. 
Um, yeah, Scott does not use any masking agent on this at all. No, because you spend just as much time do it, setting up the masking that you would mm -hmm. painting. So it's just as simple to paint around it. When is it okay to go out of the lines when using watercolor? All the time. I go out of the lines all the time. Um, let's see. Mark had a rough day. I'm sorry, Mark. I'm sorry, Mark. Um, did you put your headphones on the website? Are they listed on I there? I genuinely don't know. Um, yeah, Bethany, I don't know if those are listed on there. Are they listed on there? Um, if you just Google noise canceling headphones, there there's a list of like the I think Wire Cutter has a list of the best noise canceling. Yeah, headphones those ever. don't but, don't trust those. But because, you have to. I was just gonna yeah. say you have to try them yourself. Calm down. Because, like I said, some people I've in, trust, in the chat... I, yeah, I've tried, I think, every single over-the-ear headphone. And I'm saying people in the chat have said, I love loops. I don't love loops. I love this one. I yeah. don't love the over-the-ear. Over the love... yeah. So, and, and... But, but there's people who don't love that. So you have to figure out what works best for you. No. No. Uh-uh. No. no. It, there's a there will be a black and white one. Oh, no data. The stream will end shortly. Oh, wait. Now it says excellent connection. What the heck was that? That was a blip. Um, yes, his headphones are listed on the supplies down at the bottom of the page. Okay, so if you want to see what Scott uses, go to the resources page all the way at the bottom. Um, so yeah, I've tried the Sony's. I've tried the the cheaper brands. I've tried mm -hmm. the different Bose brands. Mm -hmm. um, the ones that I like the best are the 700 series. Mm-hmm. And I, I have the newer ones that just came out. Um, they're not in, in, in any way better. In your opinion. Yeah. They're not better. Keep in mind, different things work for different people. So you have to try them. I, I'm looking see. at the quality of the noise cancellation. That's all I'm talking about. I'm, I'm not talking about how they play music. But for some people, I, I know that's I'm why just, I'm, I'm, I'm letting, people I know, know how many things you've tried and I know how many things we've, we've dealt with, with you. And I will tell everybody, I understand that these work great for Scott, but please try them for yourself. I know, but not everybody that's has it. the ability to try every single one of them. So I'm just letting them know I yeah. have. And as far as noise canceling goes, the Bose 700 are the best and they're not, uh, nearly as good as I want them to be, but they're better than all the others. In your opinion? Yeah. As someone who has um, tried them all. Where are you going to put this piece when it's done? In a drawer. Mm -hmm. Along with the rest of the pieces. The gothic vampires in a drawer. Mm -hmm. The um, yeah. dragon and centaurs in the drawer. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If I could, if I could afford to frame all of these, I would. Um, but and put them where we'd look I, like the Louvre. I know. I mean, God, we have so much. I mean, like our house, <coughs> with the exception of a couple of paintings from, you know, artist friends. Um, our house is a shrine to Scott's art. There's not enough wall space. There just isn't. Uh, yeah, I, I, I just you keep know? painting, and so. Yeah. Which is why we sell a lot of it on the store because there's no yeah. way we. What am I going to do with all of this paint paintings? We you couldn't know. put we couldn't put it on the wall. So, do you have a favorite character from the group? Um, I think the one I identify with the most is the autistic centaur, but um, the one that I ha I think came out the best was the Aracocra, which is the bird person. The with bird the wings. person on the ground or no, with the, the wings with the wings okay okay um let's see um, 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 um. <laughs> this painting is going to take so much time it will it will indeed yeah. take a lot of time um but you know think about it we've done um what is it, 1040-ish, I'm guessing, based on when I heard the... Uh... 
um, what it is right now? Yeah. No, it's nine fifty. Nine nine. Okay, nine fifty. Sorry, I was off by ten. Um, but uh, you were off by an hour. Well, I sorry. I just that was just a mental. F- I was just saying. I heard the 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 nine thirty chime. So, um, but you know, I've done the 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 pass of the the paint's gray and the mm-hmm. and I'm almost done with the pass of the um, the brown. Mm-hmm. I'll do a couple of other spot colors, and then from there I could start with the lighting and shadows. Mm-hmm. And then and I'm going to keep it very fa- so like there'll be fire in the fireplace, um, and then just stuff will have dimensionality to it because I'll add some some Windsor Violet and that'll be it I'm gonna keep it very very light because I want the characters to have the most saturation Mm -hmm. Um, have you ever considered making an art book with your illustrations I haven't but I've been approached by a couple publishers about it Um, I haven't really felt that there was much I was bringing to the table um yet you know it, it's like it's like uh going to a band and saying hey do you want to put together our greatest hits um while they're still feeling like well i'm s- still building these things um i don't know i don't know how many people would want to see my art in a book um sketched by uh by ste there um are videos leading up to this the first there's a there's a playlist for yeah, this. Yeah, there's the the first eleven videos cover him trying the paper and picking the characters and putting the everything together. So you can go back and watch the whole. Yeah, please do and process. tell me what you think. Yeah, you can watch the whole process. Um, let's see. Do you have a character that you most identify with in the group? Yeah, the autistic centaur. <clears throat> let's see all that work to just go into a drawer well if you make thousands of paintings yeah it's got to yeah. go somewhere and, and and framing is very expensive oh, we've, we've got a few of my paintings framed and yeah. they'll they'll cost a couple hundred dollars per per piece to frame and um couple of them cost more than that depending yeah. on the type of glass that you pick and yeah. the animal crackers movie poster was very expensive to frame but that was a once in a lifetime kind of piece yeah so yeah. you pick and choose when you got something that's like this was a big deal of course we're going to spend a lot of money on this framing because this was a big deal yeah. so we got museum yeah. glass and you know but it, it's it's you know it, if you think about it, I, in the last three years, I've painted over a thousand paintings. Mm-hmm. Um, yep. And and you know, not every painting is something that is frame worthy. But you think, you know, if ten percent of those are ones that are frame worthy, that's a hundred paintings. At one percent, that's still you know, ten yeah. paintings at two hundred dollars each is two thousand dollars it's like uh, i don't know if i want to spend that kind of money to frame my art so i just shove it in a drawer well, or i sell of, it on top of the wall space yeah i mean there's just not enough real estate i mean there just isn't you can only have so many walls in the house that you know like i said we don't want to be the louvre where we stack paintings on top of paintings on top of paintings okay i think we are done with that this will definitely be a poster. Yeah. Let me just make sure I'm looking through. So um, it's easier to look through um, and look for color to see if I missed anything. And um, it looks like we are okay. Scott, will we also participate in the naming ceremony? Meaning naming oh, yeah. Ceremony. I don't want to do it. So I'm going to make you guys do it. <laughs> nothing nobody in this painting has a name yet except for kiwi except for kiwi okay um nobody else has a name guys and so and that's that's another thing for another day he's just painting today so yeah we will do a naming and stories and backgrounds for them okay so i want you to look at okay so can you guys see here where the paints gray got into the wood area here and it also kind of got into the horn over here. 
Yeah, just a very so, little bit. There. And and this is watercolors. I, I don't get upset about it. I go, okay, I can fix it later. I can go over, I can grab some water on a brush and I could rub that out and everything will be fine. Mm -hmm. So you just, you, the, the spots that you don't want that to happen, you just go, okay. But I also just go, I want people, to, it, like I, I'm not trying to hide the fact that it's watercolor. Mm-hmm. Um, good morning, Jamie Brown. Good morning. Um, let's see. Scott was my biggest inspiration to start my art career. Oh, thank you. Do you talk about art with your family and friends? I will talk about art with my mom. She's an artist. But, um, no. My, I mean, I have art friends I might talk about art with sometimes, but... Not that often. Um, is there a character from the guild that you would like to develop into future projects? Um, only Kiwi, because I want to do the Dreamland Chronicles again. But yeah, no, I mean, again, if I were to say hey i'm going to come up with a story for one of these characters i would have a blast doing it but currently i have no plans mm -hmm. all right we are going to work on this area here all right okay so i am do going you want to me to are we panned in as much as possible you do i'll let you control that let me see how do you guys like that better you're gonna to have to move it a little bit to no actually that should be good Let's see if they if you guys like that better. I panned in super tight so you guys could see it. Okay, I'm coming in with some purples. You guys like that better? Let me know if you like that better. Um, Kiwi's the fairy. She's from yeah, she's from the Dreamland Chronicles, mm -hmm. which was a story I wrote for my kids. Mm -hmm. And you can read it on the dreamlandchronicles.com. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. So now we're getting into what areas are getting light and what areas are getting shadow. shadow. Um, any idea what size the poster would be? Same size as the original painting, which mm -hmm. is uh, uh, 11 by 30. Um, let's see. Scott did Kiwi in, you could see Kiwi, the little one he did in yesterday's video? Yesterday's video. Yeah, yesterday's yeah. video. All right, I'm going to hit blow dryer. Okay, hold on. Let me just do that. Okay. We're going to go to... Um, about 10.30, so we have another 30 minutes. Look at that. That's nice, huh? If you're happy, I'm happy. <laughs> All right, let's add a little um, bit of let's see. shadow under here. Is this beautiful painting in the same universe as the Dragon Centaur? I think it could be. Um, you don't mind if I recreate your video style in a video, do you? I've done Not this a bunch. Not at all. There you go. Um, what colored pencil? Blah, blah, let me try this again. What colored pencil brand do you suggest or use? I like Prismacolor. Uh, if you can afford Caran d'Ache, that's even better. Mm. But I did some uh, testing on colored pencils, and I've tried a bunch of different ones, and um, Prismacolor was the best. Mm -hmm. Um, while we appreciate that you guys would like to send us um, fan art, we would love it if you would share that with other people in the world and spread a little bit of love around the world. Um, I'm glad you guys like the zoomed in. What mechanical pencil do you recommend? I don't really like mechanical pencils, mm -hmm. but Donna got me one, and uh, and that's the one I've been using. What is it? Um, Nauru 
Naruta? Naruta? No, 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 no. I don't know. It's, it's, uh... I don't know. You have it over there somewhere. Yeah, I don't know where I think it is. it's on the couch. It's, it's on the couch? Oh, the chair? chair, yeah. I'll, I'll, I'll go and try to find it. It should be in oh, the resources a, list, right? Here. <clears throat> Bethany, is it in the resources list? Let me look. <clears throat> Excuse me. Allergies have hit, and they are in full force, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. So I apologize. with medicine too I am over this already I don't know how they're going to be able to see anything in this okay so here it is it's the uni Kuritoga advanced mechanical pencil that's the one I got for him that is the one um, do we have any plans to go back to the zoo again oh absolutely mm -hmm. absolutely we're just waiting for them to mm -hmm set up another encounter yeah they um have a lot of um things going on right now they have an extravagan zoo in they had just had a zoo run run um and so they have a lot of events um that are coming up and we sort of they put us in between events <clears throat> excuse me do you find that blow drying with do you find that drying with the blow dryer versus naturally letting it air dry makes any difference in the colors? No, no. Oh, the only thing that it does is sometimes the blow dryer will move the paint around and give you a different result. But um, mm -hmm. I, I've, I've gotten pretty okay with controlling that. Um, let's see. Do you have a specific brand of tracing paper that you enjoy? No, no, it's just tracing paper. I just, I'll use whatever is available. Mm -hmm. Or on sale. Yeah. He likes buying what's on sale. Um, I saw Posca came out with colored pencils and they're really opaque and smooth. They're oil-based. Interesting. Yeah, that doesn't sound like something you'd enjoy. Um, let's see. Um, plans to go to the zoo oh it's not on the supplies but it's on the tester list under drawing supplies okay so maybe we should move it from the tester list to the resources list since that's what he's been using for a while um, so Danny, trying, go ahead I'm trying not to get too much detail here um, I, again, because I want the, um, your eyes to go to the characters. So I'm trying not to like have it be too, um, detailed with the, with the colors. So, um, hi Scott, I'm new here. I am trying to be an artist, actor, musician. Do you have any advice? Yes. Do what you love and you will be an artist actor musician um you don't need a degree you don't need uh anybody else's validation just do it um, but don't wait around for people to give you the job um let's see if you were any race in D D, what would you be um, so many people have asked this. Yeah, I'd like to be an elf, I think, but um, just because they seem so artistic and graceful and things like that. But um, And they're sure. very, very good with the bow and arrow. <laughs> yeah, well, I don't really have a desire to be good with a bow and arrow, but um, I like that they seem to um, embrace the beauty in the world. Let's see. Do you ever use colored pencil over your watercolor for more detail? Sometimes. I try not to because then it would cover up the inking. Your recent live streams have inspired me to draw my own D&D &D characters. Thank you for giving me inspiration to start drawing again. Oh, my pleasure. 
Um, will you add a light source from the fireplace onto the characters? I I don't know yet. Um, because if I were to add like rim lights and whatnot, that would probably be with um, gouache. But I, I, that could be like a last minute decision. Um... Oh, which character do you most relate to like the best from the guild? That was for me. Um, I have no idea. I really have no idea. I, I would have to think about that one. Um, I, I don't know. Probably the... Uh, I don't, you know, I don't even know. I don't even know. I have no, I'm not a gamer. I have no Donna idea. Donna most I, relates with the stabby Kinku. That's entirely possible. Um, pfft, what does a typical day in the life look like? Your lives seem very peaceful. Art and zoo life sounds pretty good to me. <laughs> You're so you know, it, it, it is, you know, we're, we're also parents and uh, so there's, but we're on the other side of parenting. yeah. So Our there's kids there's a lot of worry, oh, yeah. and you know, is, are the kids doing okay and things like that? Um, you know, it's life like everybody else's life. I try to show you all of the positive. No, I was gonna say I try to show you all of the mistakes and everything, but you know, it, it's it's there. You show them in, the in, mistakes in your art. In the art, yeah. yeah. In in life, you know, yeah, things are not always 100% rosy, but I also don't like to be someone who's going to come on and complain about, yeah, you, you know, do what that. we're dealing with with the kids and yeah. and finances and whatnot. That that That's not helpful to anybody, so. Yeah. Uh, I mean, life's like, life's like everybody else's, you know. We get up, we have yeah. breakfast, we come down, we do lives, we do art, you know, we ship things we you know there's always a million emails to deal with there's you know business calls to have there's stuff to do so um let's see scott's favorite material to work with is watercolor that's why he's doing this one in watercolor so i was thinking about you know uh, adding another layer of Payne's gray and leaving out like the grout area. What do you guys think? I think that actually came out pretty good. That of course means I'd have to do that throughout. <laughs> You're so funny. Um, if you were an elf, would you grow your hair super long? Yeah. <laughs> it would be long and flowing and, and purple. Long and flowing and purple. Yeah. That's very oddly specific. <laughs> Do you regret doing art school? You sound like you hated it every time you talk about it. No, 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 no. I, I didn't hate art school. Um, I wasn't a good student and it did me good. Like I, I, I learned stuff that was helpful to me. Unfortunately, it didn't sink in until a decade later. So I just what I, I wasn't a good recipient of that knowledge. crazy um right, i like gonna... to use colored pencils to add some fur when i use watercolor since i don't usually use ink yeah that would work fine what's your technique on drawing hands oh there's a short on it but i'm not that great at it um the stones are turning out really great I love that you've managed to accidentally draw yourself in. Have you put Donna in the painting? No, no, I wasn't intending to put myself, so I definitely wasn't intending to put any anybody else I knew into it. This piece is truly phenomenal. Your artwork is always fantastic. Oh, but this thank is crazy you. good. I'm always intimidated to draw multiple figures in one piece, and this is truly inspirational. Oh, thanks. Well, hopefully, like I said, if you guys go back and you watch uh, all of the videos, um, you'll see how I came up with it and all of the, the thinking and the decisions and everything else that came, got me to this point. 
Um, Scooter Boots sent you a tip and said, new oh, to the you. channel, nice to see another traditional artist. Thank you, Scooter Boots. Um, Scott's favorite color is? Payne's gray, what I'm using right now. Mm -hmm. Mine is cobalt blue. Bethany says, yes, I like the differentiation between the stone and the grout. Um, have y'all ever been to anywhere outside of the U.S.? If so, have you seen art from those countries? Yeah. Yeah, we got to go to Spain, uh, Italy, Paris, and France. Or pa Paris and London. Mm -hmm. um, do you have a favorite character in this painting as well as which one did you enjoy drawing the most? Um, my favorite character would probably be the autistic centaur. The one I enjoyed drawing the most was definitely the Aarakocra. Um, Scott has never used gold leaf that I'm aware of in no. any of these paintings, but Bethany uses gold leaf. Um, let's see. It looks fantastic. How are you so motivated? I'll doze off, fall asleep, lose interest, or lock it away thinking doing it later and forget about it. Um, I um, am doing something that I want to do, not something I felt that I had to do. So that was my motivation right there. I also... Don't, if I'm not in the mood to do it, I walk away. Um, I'm only spending about an hour a day on these. So um, I, I'm, I'm not sitting here, you know, 10 hours a day working on them. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know. Fan of all, I don't know what that question, I don't know what you're asking. Try asking it again um, with a little more detail, okay? Um, let's see. Um, do you like the tube or the pan watercolors? Tube. You get, there's, you get more for your money with the tubes. Let's see. And we are caught up on questions. Nice. Yeah. To one of those mornings. Look at us go. There are lots of people have asked the same question. A lot of people were very curious who you'd be, which character you'd be, and if you like playing D&D &D and all those kinds of things. And Yeah, I, I'd like to try D&D &D again, but I, I'm afraid I might not be the best person to play with. I think I'd be asking too many questions. And, well, why do we got to kill that person? And, you know, <laughs> seems silly. You know, we came to their dungeon you know why would we be you know i don't know because your job is to pillage and plunder i don't want to pillage and plunder well i wanted to pick flowers and you thought that was silly because at that point you just wanted to run through and kill everything yeah that was my, World of Warcraft. my my how times have changed um, let's see. What references do you use? I have trouble finding lighting and mystical characters that are similar to what I want to paint. Uh, there is <laughs> a, um, video. Uh, if you mm -hmm. look at the second video of this series, you'll see where I got my photo reference and there's links and everything. Mm -hmm. Um, let's see. Painting makes me want to grab my drawing tablet and draw my D&D character, so thanks for helping with Art Block. Sure. Um, I think there was a question on Art Block that I just, that the chat jumped. Um, oh, no, here it is, Art Style. Zoya says, I'm trying to get into a new art style. Any tips? Um, yeah, find an art style that you like mm -hmm. from somebody else and copy it. Mm -hmm. That's how I got my art style. Um, what was that sketchbook how-to book you recommended that your friend made? Something about art class. This is not an art class. Mm -hmm. It's a, um, this is not a sketchbook. It's an art class. Mm -hmm. And there's a video on it. And mm -hmm. she, there's a link to it. Mm -hmm. and, and a discount code, right? A discount code. And mm -hmm. also, um, there were people who couldn't afford the shipping. So yeah. she made a PDF version. Yep. Yep. So there's, so that's available too. Yay. Um, how long do you guys, so funny. 
How long do you think it will take to finish this? You guys are very well, funny. It, it, now that I'm going back and adding all of the different individual bricks like this, um, it might take an extra hour. But I, I, really? I, I was thinking you just added another week. No, no. I think I am going to... I'd like to have the whole thing finished painting by Easter. So a week from Sunday. Um, let's see. Um, Ashley B says, my husband is taking me for a night stay at Hever Castle for our anniversary. I'm so excited to finally see Anne Boleyn with Rose portrait in person. Have you seen a favorite of yours in person? Um, first of all, that is really cool. Yeah, very cool. Yeah. And secondly, um, yeah, it wasn't my favorite until I saw it. Have you ever just been to a museum and you went, wow, uh -huh. and then that's now your favorite painting? Yeah. That happened to me at the Getty Museum, and it was uh, Sir Lawrence Almatadema's yeah. Spring. Yeah. I had the same experience at the Getty and it was that painting that I thought was a Rembrandt that isn't a Rembrandt, but it's painted in the, like, it's a Rembrandt style. Uh, you know, uh, it's all really, really dark, and then the only lighting source is that candle. Yeah. That one that I got the postcard of, that I still have, like, 30 years later. Um, let's see. What is your opinion on drawing fan art of movies, shows, and games? Oh, I do it all the time. Mm -hmm. I mean, all the time. Um, Lady Debster says, you've inspired me to start a YouTube channel with your love the process video. Any oh, tips? No, just, just be consistent. You know, if, if this is what you want to do, post three times a week more if you can. But, you know, have fun. Um, what part of the drawing process are you usually the most confident with? Like coloring, sketching, composition, etc.? The coloring. Yeah, I, I'm the least confident with the drawing, um, a little more confident with the inking, and definitely um, more most confident with the coloring. And that's not to say that I feel more confident with coloring in general, but all of the hard stuff is already done by that point, which is the composition, the picking the characters, the line work. So then it's just, okay, just don't screw it up is really where mm -hmm. I'm at. Do you have a list of all the projects and ideas you want to do, or do you just do whatever comes to mind? Um, no, I have a list. Uh, if, if you're talking about videos, I'll just put them on post-its. If mm -hmm. it's uh, book ideas or film projects, I'll do it in like a, an Evernote or something like that. Mm -hmm. Do you enjoy the artwork of Harry Clark? I don't know if I know their work. Not by name, at least. Chili Joe says, oh my God, yes, you fix my art block every time I watch one of your lives. Oh. Jinxy Jinx says, other than art, what is your favorite hobby? Uh, probably games. I'm sure they're going to ask, so what's your favorite video game? Uh, Zelda. Um... Yeah, Colleen not... says, learning so much watching you paint the background. Oh, thanks. I was not planning on doing this, people. But um, hopefully <laughs> it, it will. Hey, Scott, if your it. life depended on it, would you enjoy making a cartoonish animated style painting with bright popping colors, fun, goofy proportions, and cell shading? I wouldn't need uh, <sighs> my life to depend on it. But, um, I, I mean, I've done that before. There's a... There's a short where I drew uh, my hero Academia with uh, Pascas. And um, I've done a couple of other anime stuff. I don't, I don't mind it. It's just I don't, I, I don't do it for, for fun, you know. Um, but every once in a while, just for the heck of it, it's not bad. Yeah. But I, I definitely don't need my life threatened for it. Our Discord is free, and it's open when the mods have time to open it. But you can go in and agree to the rules, and then 
they will let you in when they have time because they're helping us and they do that for free. Um, who is your favorite Marvel character that isn't Spider-Man? <laughs> um, in the comics, it would be Ben Grimm, the thing. Mm -hmm. In the MCU, it would be um, Captain America. What is your favorite music genre? Rock and roll. Have you ever played Stardew Valley? No, I've heard of it, but I just don't know if that would be something that would interest me. Isn't that the one you wanted me to do? No. Okay. Let's see. Um, thanks for being wholesome and inclusive. Oh, my pleasure. Um, let's see. We'll do names at another point in time. Oh, yeah. When it's done, we yeah. will come up with names and stories. Yeah. I think that would be fun. Um, is it possible that you do something with Jess Carp? You both have good life lessons to viewers and art. P.S. Greetings from Finland. Oh, thank you. Jess Carp? Mm -hmm. I, I, I'll look them up. Mm hmm are they a YouTuber or? Yeah, what are they? Um, I found out about you from Sam Does Art, and I've been watching your videos since. They're so inspiring to me. Thank you for sharing your work. Oh, thank you. And thank you, Sam, wherever you are. <laughs> I, I, I sent Sam an email yeah. um, saying, you know, hey, I'll send you some zebra brush pens because he's trying traditional, traditional art. art, and he's using microns. Yeah. And I'm like, let me send you these. So I haven't heard back, but Sam's Sam's traditionally, at least uh, Sam's busy. in my experience, yeah, he's very a busy. He's, he's a got busy a life. Man. Yeah, I don't know what that's like. Yeah. Harry Clark was a stained glass artist and book illustrator who influenced the Nouveau and Deco movements. Really interesting. I would think more um, Art Deco if with stained glass, but let's see. Pearl says, I want to paint, but I just had a baby, so I don't have time for it now. Watching you paint is healing me right oh. now. You are in the thick of it, Pearl, but it is a beautiful time. Yeah, enjoy the time. Yeah. You only get it's one shot at it. Yeah, it goes really away. fast. But you know what? You're going to be all right, Mama. It's going to be okay. Um, thank you for whoops, inspiring me with... Um, out watching you, I never would have done portraits because I was so scared to mess up. Oh, yeah. Do you have a favorite Zelda game? Um, I liked both Breath of the Wild and um, Tears of the Kingdom. Uh, I The only exposure I had to Zelda before that was on the Game Boy. Um, so that was in the 90s. But... Um, yeah, I don't think I played it on the GameCube. But yeah, I, I truly fell in love with it in Breath of the Wild. I was just in love with the game. And then so when Tears of the Kingdom came out, I was a little taken, ba taken aback because I was like, oh man, all the work I did in Breath of the Wild is now is like, oh, it's all gone and we're starting all over and... But I, I, the one thing I did with Tears of the Kingdom that I didn't do with Breath of the Wild was I took my time and I did all of the side quests and I just kind of enjoyed it. I rushed through Breath of the Wild because I was like, I'm going to save you, princess. And so I, I, I have fond memories of both games. What paper do you use? For this one, I am using Arches 600 GSM hot press paper mm -hmm. um let's see i love that i asked you to put easter eggs in your drawing and you said you weren't gonna but then you did i did but i mean i i told you guys about it <laughs> so yeah. is that even an easter egg if i tell you that they're there what are your suggestions for someone who wants to learn anatomy how do you start and improve your skills in it? Well, there are books, and I had a couple that I, I posted uh, under my resources. But honestly, I think the figure drawing is the best way to do it. There's a one-minute figure drawing uh, playlist. 
you could try that. Mm -hmm. um, what animal does the skull on the mantelpiece belong to? I haven't come up with a name for it, but it started off as an elephant. What is your favorite, or who is your favorite Zelda companion? Mine was Midna. Um, it was the, the, the rolly guy. He's the one I used the most. Though, I really liked the, um, the little uh, boost I would get flying with the little bird guy. But the one I used the most was the, uh, the guy who, uh, what was this thing he would always call you? Their, their race had like a, a thing, like a name that they would always say. Um, kind of like their version of saying friend. Have you picked names for the Gothic Vampire or the Centaur? The Gothic Vampire, I think the name was Carmilla or something. That was like the first uh, vampire story. Um, I have not come up with names for... Oh, there's Logan. You want me to take it? Yeah, just, I'll just say, uh, can I call you later? Um, sorry, our son is at school. Um, but uh, yeah, we haven't come up with names for the gothic vamp... Or for the uh, dragon or centaur. Um, what paintbrushes do you use? I am using a Cotman series, which is the student version, uh, from Windsor Newton. How did you know you wanted to do art full time? I'm going to school for aerospace engineering, but it took me a long time to figure out that's what I wanted to do professionally. Um, <laughs> he wasn't good at anything else. Yeah, I wasn't guys. good at anything else. I really didn't have any other choices, <laughs> any other too. options. He did not. All right. Well, um, this is obviously going to take me a little bit more, so I will finish that later. Mm -hmm. And, um, but yep. I think it was good. Yeah. I think it's got a nice kind of look to it. And, um, uh, and we hope you guys have a fantastic Friday. Yeah. Yeah. Let me, we will see you again on Monday. Have a wonderful weekend and enjoy uh, your weekend. Do something. I should for probably be through. The background should be done, mm -hmm. and I'll probably be working on some of these characters by the mm -hmm. time I see you on Monday. Yep. I hope. Yep. If I'm still working on the background on by Monday, we're in um, trouble. We're in a lot of trouble. <laughs> yeah. Mm -hmm. um, yep. But thank you all for hanging out with us. And, uh, oh, Kim just popped in. What do you want to draw for our next live stream together in a few weeks? Oh, hey, Kim. Um, Hi, Kim. I'm waving at the stupid computer screen. Good here, I'll wait for Donna. I'm done. Um, there you go. Gosh. I, I, I will email you uh, with some thoughts. But um, Oh, he's going to keep it offline. He's going to keep it a secret. No, because he's going to probably put it up for a vote anyhow. <laughs> <laughs> but I'm looking forward to it. You're funny. He's going to put it up for a vote. I know it. Can you hear it in his voice? <laughs> I'm going to end up doing something. All right. I'm going to go uh, call my son back. And um, and I will. we will see you all on Monday. We will. And Aniro just sent you a tip, so I'll say thank you. Oh, thank you very much. All right, guys. Have a great rest of your day, and we will see you on Monday. Bye. Bye, everybody.